um, God has led me back on here to give uh, more insight on what he means with his freedom and also um, the opposition or what will happen, you know, in him. You know, the um, opposition that you may face. So, um let me go ahead and get into the scripture that God gave me. So God gave me Galatians 2 and 5. And he has led me to go over just a little bit towards the end of Galatians 2 and 4. Uh, in Galatians 2 and 4, at the end of it, it says, They sneaked in to spy on us and to take away the freedom we have in Christ Jesus. They wanted to enslave us and force us to follow their Jewish regulations. This is what it says in uh, Galatians 2 and 5. The uh, after Galatians 2 and 4, it says, But we refuse to give into them for a single moment. We wanted to, pre wanted to preserve the truth of the gospel message for you. Let me read it one more time, y'all. It says, They sneaked in to spy on us and take away the freedom we have in Christ Jesus. They wanted to enslave us and force us to follow their Jewish regulations, but we refused to give into them for a single moment. We wanted to preserve the truth of the gospel message for you. So, so with God's freedom, it will come with opposition because religion has told us what freedom in Christ should look like or what it should look like being a follower of Christ. So they uh so the way God lead you or the way that you're being followed or the way that God is calling you to follow him may look so different. It may look um It may be so different. It may, how can I say it? The way that God lead you uh, to do a thing or however God speaks to you, however it may be, um, there will be people who disagree or who come against what, um, what God is doing or what God wants to do through you or in you or God is showing you or leading you or guiding you the way that God is guiding you, um, there will be opposition. Uh, there will be people who see their self esteemed higher than you, um, whether it's uh, religion in the church or even um, in your family. It could be anyone um, who may seem like they have, they've been knowing God you know, for a long, longer than you have or whatever it could be. And I'm talking to everyone. Um, however, what God, how God leads you is between you and God. And so yeah, the way that God leads you is between you and God. That's why it's so necessary to have a relationship with God because religion will always try to get in there. Religion, religion says, this is how it goes. This is how it's to go. This is how it's supposed to go. It's written out. This is how, this is it. This is it. Relationship with God says, this is my word. Oh, Jesus. Relationship with God. He will give you a word. And he'll give you instruction. And it's up to God on how he brings it to pass or how he wants to bring it to pass. And God will, sh oh, God will put the right things. Oh, Lord, help me to get this out. Um, you know, with relationship with God, God, he'll, he'll lead you in different ways. That religion, that it don't make sense to religion. That is it. Thank you, God. So... God, relationship with God will lead you in different ways and different ways that doesn't make sense to religion because religion is so limited. It's just, it's very limited. It's limited. That's the difference between serving. Oh, Jesus is so good. Religion and relationship with God is so, it's so different because religion, that's not what God wanted for us. He wanted a relationship with us. So when we have relationship with God, he's able to we able to understand where he what he says 
how can I say it? We're able to understand what is it that he wants from us. We're able to learn it. We're able to learn it. Religion tells us what it should be, and it's not really learning anything. We just have to follow this customs and know if this happened. That like it's no freedom. It's no freedom. Religion has no. Uh, religion has no freedom, and that's what um, some people will try to do is hold you to their religion or how they think things should go. But God, with relationship with God, God will lead you into doing things that is so. That may look so contrary to what everybody else is used to, or so different because it's it's not it's not it's 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 how about to get it out? Let me get it out, y'all. Sorry, it's uh it's not normal, you know. It's not uh, it's gonna seem unnormal or unnormal. It's not gonna it's not gonna look normal. It's going to be very different the way God may lead you uh, to do a thing. And there will be opposition because this world and religion says that it's supposed to go this way. And if you don't go this way, then it's not the right way. However, when it's God, relationship with God will cause you to, oh, Jesus, so good. The relationship with God will lead you in different ways that don't look the uh the normal way to do things because God has many ways of bringing his words to pass. The religion say that this is how it goes. This is how it's going to happen. This is it. God says relationship with me. This is my word. I want to bring it to pass. However, I choose to bring it to pass. And I just hear relationship. Who hear it, follow his voice It's grace with hearing God because God is spirit. So you have to really dig in your time with God really have to dig in your time with God, spend time with God, and really get to learn God's voice. And I always, like for me, I anoint myself before, uh, I mean, especially when I first started following God, uh, like when I was, like when I like just let go of everything and just went straight ahead, like I could not, the more time I spend with God and the more I started to learn his voice, the more I started to anoint my ears because I needed to make sure it was him and no other spirit, no nothing but him and i could you not that's that's that where that's where it was and um i encourage y'all to do the same thing anoint yourselves so you can hear jesus clearly you know but also you don't just anoint, uh, don't just anoint, anoint yourself spend that time with god spend that time with god and you know anoint yourself you know you have to put in that effort with god okay and it's just, this is wild. God is so good. You really got to spend that time with God. I'm so excited. This is, God is so good. He's really good. And he's so faithful. I love how faithful God is. Because in this, God is letting all of us know, you know, even with the opposition that is coming. Because there will be people to disagree with what God said is so. There will be people that says, no, you know, that's not how it's supposed to go. Just because that's not the traditional way of doing things. However, with God, God, he can do whatever he wants. God is not limited. God does not change. However, God is not limited. God is an unchanging God that is not limited. He can do, he can, God can bring his words to pass however he wants. That's why God is, is desired for us to have a relationship with him so that we can be able to follow his spirit and know when he is shifting when he is shifting and when he is doing a new thing and when he is telling us to be still. That's the that's the pros. Like it's the only pros of having a relationship with God. So yes, y'all, in this time, God may call you to do some things that look so contrary and so um different from what is you know, what is expected or the traditional way of doing things. However, you have to choose who you're going to follow are you going to follow god or are you going to follow what is normal what is traditional and miss what god is doing that's the thing and it's amazing how god works because god wants you to have that abundance but a part of not but and a part of having that abundance requires a lot of faith and not even just a lot of faith because it's actually written that it only takes a mustard seed of faith to move a mountain so it don't even take a lot of faith at all, a mustard seed of faith to move a mountain.
Y'all, even with that muscle side seed of faith, we can still move mountains and we can still trust God in it. It just takes that small faith, that small seed of faith, the first step. Whatever God has told you to do, ask. If you're not sure about a thing, y'all, if y'all not sure about a thing, keep going to God and tell him to make it so plain to you. God, he will not hold any, he will not withhold any good thing from you. Whatever it is, if you're not sure about it, ask God to show you in such a way that, you know, it's only God. And if you want to be specific, be specific, very specific and to the point to where when it shows up, you know, oh, only God did this. And I would suggest y'all to write it down, write what the Lord has told you to do. And write whatever it, um, how can I say it? Write what God has told you to do and also write for God to confirm it to you. You know, write it down. Um, I don't know, like for God to do it in such a way that you know it's only him, you know, to confirm what it is or to confirm what it's not. Like just go to God about it, whatever it may be, just take it to God. And you and God, he'll show you. Jesus will show you. God will show you. But it all started from from having that relationship with God. Okay? God, he's always there. So you just have to talk to him. And he'll confirm what is and what ain't. You have to be specific. Let God in. Okay? So with that, y'all, um, the takeaways from this is... That with freedom, the true freedom in God comes opposition because there are Pharisees. There are people who feel like it should go a certain way because it's written a certain way. However, with relationship with God, it's going to lead you in different ways. With God, he will lead you in different ways that are unnormal or that is not normal to what is normal. Makes sense? I hope that makes a lot of sense to y'all. So trust God and I thank Jesus, y'all, because he's so faithful. He's touching those as for. I know he is. And he's so amazing. He's so gracious to us. And he's so he merciful. He's so merciful, y'all. God got us. And um, yeah. Let's get her done, y'all. And um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. So without further ado, it has been real. I'm trying to make sure that God don't have me to say anything else. And if he does, I'll just come back on. Uh, so, yeah, y'all, let's get it done and let's go.